What's going on guys? Welcome back to Larkin Motors TV. We're just doing the daily car shuffle here at Larkin Motors. The topic of today's video is this 2018 Toyota Tacoma getting wheels, tires. Oh my god! Where's your keys? Are you sure you can handle the 1500 son? Look at this thing. Push to start. Oh. All right, so we got a lot going on in today's intro. We got. She sounds good. She needs a burble tune, though. I've been working on uh, convincing Josh to do that for free. But <laughs> now let's get into today's video. Uh, we got this 2018 Tacoma. Uh, the kid who owns it is actually in the Coast Guard, so shout out to everybody in the military. But uh, we're doing wheels and tires, and also we're doing the Toy Tech lift kit uh, it's a pretty serious kit so it's gonna completely change the look of this vehicle um, we're gonna go ahead and unbox that kit once um, we get this truck on the lift we'll do a full unboxing just so everybody can see the kit we originally had ordered the I uh, icon suspension for this kit but it was back ordered till like December so that's not really an option um, he was trying to get it done as fast as possible so shout out to toy tech this thing was in the mail and at the shop within two days so you can't really beat that quick little montage of this truck before and then uh at the end you'll see what it looks like after All right, hope you guys enjoyed that edit by Tommy and hope you guys enjoyed uh, Brian frolicking in the parking lot with his shirt off first thing in the morning. Update on this one here too. We were waiting on the flywheel and uh, it finally came in. So we're throwing in the clutch and customer needs it back uh, tomorrow. So hopefully everything goes as planned, but uh, get that buttoned up. And then that's one more spot on the lift. But this is also cool, guys. We're doing a manual swap to this here. What does this have? 365,000? 363, 669. Dude, shout out to 669. But for uh, 300 something thousand miles, this thing's pretty clean. Clean interior, shout out to the owner. He clearly takes care of it. Uh, he's got the fifth wheel unit back here, just in case you gotta tow some crazy shit. Big campers with it. Dude, all I need is one of these and I don't even need to buy a house. I'll just tow around my camper and park it at the shop <laughs> with the old patina tailgate. All right, you guys are doing great work. <laughs> what do you think? You might have to get it. Get one of these, dude. It suits you. No. No? You don't like it? C10. C10? Come and swap it. Coyote swap it. Swap, LS swap. Hurt yeah. The haters would love that. Coyote swap C10. No one does it. Alright. Done deal. Done. Whipple Whipple Coyote swap C10. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think? Should Larkin Motors become dealers of E85? Oh, I think it's a good idea. That's race fuel. Does VP sell E85? I'm pretty sure they do, yeah. We need drums, so I know one of your execs is watching this video, so make sure to reach out. <laughs> Alright bud, we're doing an unboxing here, how the sticker's looking. Some nice stickers, hide those from the guys. They give you zip ties too, what, what do you think that's for? Um, probably to either zip tie the resis or something out of the way, if they have them. Um, it's your uh, little yeah, tool hardware. kit. Look at these units right here. Shout out to Toy Tech for freaking having the caps on it. KW really let the boys down. This is a nice, nice unit though. It is, and it's adjustable so you can, you know, raise it or lower it. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, I think it's up to three and a half, three and a half inch lift, I think. Something like that. And then yeah. these are nice. These are the upper control arms, uniball. Yeah, those are really oh, nice. Damn. Those are super shiny. Don't scratch them, bro. I definitely won't. 
<laughs> Tuck you back into bed, little guy. Uh, what else is in there? Some, That's just some, some bushings. Like, yeah, just some polish. We got some bushings wow, as well. Those are sexy. Red bushings. Not bad for Mig. Something about red. Any part that comes in red, it just just looks cooler. I like it. Sorry, you're straddling my rears. Oh, sorry, I just blew up this bed. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> no, help myself. Good. I saw a shiny. It's a leprechaun to me. We got some some bump U stop extension. U bolts. Uh, front diff drop kit. This is like a Adelie. Yeah, basically an Adelie. Dude, I'm impressed. It's a really nice kit. Yeah, he definitely was not afraid to pull the trigger on a nice kit. Yeah. Rear so shocks. Many, so many people want to cheap out on this stuff, but this is like. Yeah, it's not worth cheaping out. Do it once, do it right. Shout out to High cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah what is, man, what's that saying? I, I found that. It's like the. Buy it once, buy it right. The pain the, of the, the pain of a hard price is the like pain of a high price is soon to. forgotten. So I yeah, know what yeah. you're talking about. I can't think of it. We clearly just are not that smart, so we're not gonna be able to recite that. But it's a real, it's a real saying. For yourself, man. <laughs> not gonna bother them while they're installing it, but I'll give you updates throughout the day, and then once it's done, we'll do a little uh, finishing edit. All right, guys. So we're back with you. Brian finished that build and put his shirt on, so that's always a good thing. Another update. The infamous Artemis 5.0. Check him out on Instagram. I'll put the uh, I'll put his name right there just so you guys can see it. Or even better, we got it right there. He is coming off the lift here soon. We just tightened up an exhaust leak uh, while we were under there, and then uh, hopefully the clutch and transmission are good to go. We technically don't even know if the transmission is good to go yet because. We just installed the clutch, so we still gotta find that out, but fingers crossed that that thing is good to go. I know he's been dying to get it back. Clutch is in, he just gotta break it in before he can beat the bag off her, but other than that, it's uh, should be good to go. And then as you guys saw, he's just gotta deal with the tow company to get the front lift situation figured out, because obviously, if you haven't seen the video, link in the description, or I'll put the video right here. Um, the tow truck driver, that up topic of today's video dano is cruising along right here look at how good that looks in there dude oh yeah it's how much how much should it raise it up uh it does a maximum of three inches i believe what did you do like two two and a uh, two and a it's right in the middle right now at about an inch and a half i would guess but um i'm probably gonna raise it up a little bit uh, before we drop it down i took a base measurement of the height of the vehicle beforehand so then We'll measure it after, see where we're at, and then adjust it from there. Cool. But uh, this is a really, this is the nicest kit I've ever seen. These guys really, uh, yeah. The Total Chaos. Shout out to Toy Tech, or Total and, Chaos, that's and, I guess who fabricates it. And Toy, toy Tech, man, it's, yeah. uh, it's super nice. Yeah, I mean, like the control arm, like that's a, what you said, it's like a $600, $700 control arm. Yeah, they're, they're, the kit is like 600 bucks, I think. It, overall, I think it was about 30. Yeah, overall the kit was yeah, right around 30, 3200-ish. Like that, um, that's a lot of taxes. money, but dude, it's worth it. Ev everything the quality is, is just... everything is like super quality. Even the uh, sway bar spacers are like billet machined out, and they're just it's uh, yeah. Racing and it, and we've car we've car seen kit. a lot of uh, kits in here that are, uh, for lack of a better word, f junk. Um, so this one's a pleasure, man. Yeah, so it's nice. When Everything's it been fitting up right. super nice. The only thing that was a little pain in the ass is that the upper control arms have a, a through bolt, which is a little tricky getting out, but that's that's Toyota's fault. It's got nothing to do with the the uh, lift company, you know? Yeah. His customer's actually coming by later. He's selling these. He already has them sold. Um, and, I mean, from factory, that's a nice wheel and tire setup. Um, I don't know if the tires came factory on it, but obviously the wheels did. And then these are the Method race wheels fitted with the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, 33 by 12 and a half. Um, these things are pretty bad. And one thing we found on these, which was really cool, um, there, right there, that sticker says no weight required. Any, any of you guys in the comments, if you know, um, they're ordered from custom offsets. We don't hear any, you know, balancing beads or anything like that inside the wheel and there's no weights on them they're supposed to be balanced it's just we've done a lot of wheels and tires on big trucks and stuff like that and we haven't seen anything like that yet dano is cranking away it's probably gonna go into tomorrow just so 
we're not rushing anything. Shout out to Dan for, you know, not getting a freaking single scratch on these buggers. Oh man, I was, I was taking, taking my damn sweet time. Woo. Some revs, exhaust leak is fixed. All right guys, moment of truth. My heart just sank. We broke a little piece of plastic. I was like, no. It was a cap to a brake. <laughs> yeah. What's Shout out to brake. We got a roller, ladies and gentlemen. Holy smoke. We got a roller. Reverse work. How about drive? Right, guys josh is just parking the uh mustang i'll be back with you guys in the morning once that's all done and we'll do a little walk around and maybe a little tommy montage action but uh that's it for today we'll be back with you in the morning what's going on everybody welcome back um josh made some banana Breakfast. bread dude i got some fucking banana bread at work today dude hell yeah my mom told me if I wait for things, like, good things will happen to me, dude. And fucking, I waited for some things, and I got some banana bread at work today, dude. Hell yeah. So it just goes to show that waiting for things is, like, worth it. But there's a lot of bad things in this world, dude. Like, fucking skunks, dude. Hell no. Scratching your eye, but it's still fucking itchy, dude. Hell no. The fucking cubs, dude. Hell no. Like getting paid not a lot of money, dude, for fucking working? Hell no! But banana bread at fucking work, dude! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, bro! Hell yeah! Banana bread, bro! At hell fucking work, dude! Hell yeah! But we don't believe him. It's too good to be made by Josh. Too moist. So, too moist, yeah. Just doing an alignment on the Tacoma here. It's looking pretty damn good. New setup. Customer already sold the OEM wheels and tires, so that's pretty cool. We got Gage's last day here for a little bit. Josh and Gage are just repairing some of Gage's problems. And just no, 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 no. I'm not repairing anything. <laughs> yeah, he's going to show him what he needs to do. But just for comparison, this is a 2019 um, with... The bumper falling off. Nice little fender gap. Little fender gap. All these, this? all these beautiful body scratches. Nice little bent. Got some bent units. That's supposed to be straight. Blown CV axle. Um, Show the other side. It's and then, and then we got the the 2018 over there, which is looking real clean. This has like 40,000 miles on it as well. Four, the shop Baker here. 40, yeah. <laughs> Baker. Is that money, right? Dude, it's good. Did <laughs> you actually make it? Believe it or not, I don't believe that. <laughs> Did you actually make the banana bread? <laughs> Dude, you're bad at lying. Like still, I'm gonna call Fallon and ask her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can either. We got the dent right here. It's looking good though, dude. It's only money, dude. Dude, yeah. It's only like once, all right? <laughs> Whoever, whoever has the lean on this vehicle currently, if you're watching this video, <laughs> I'm, I'm plugging the bank. <laughs> well, uh, Gage is getting ready for how many miles are you driving this bad, Larry? 7,500. Wait. No, <laughs> 750. 750 miles. And he's headed, headed back to which base? So that people can come find you? Any yeah, business? we're, we're no, driving no. to California and back, boys. <laughs> yeah. We'll get them all squared away, and then he'll he'll be on the road, you know? What's up, buddy? Go find a set of guys. Eric's working on the Chevelle. Great. New, new distributor, ignition box, and some other happy stuff. Is there any left? Oh, uh, that's all the last piece. Yes, a little bit. Bro, no one eats that. I'm so hungry. What? It's mine. The reason there's not much left is because Jeff took like a freaking honk oh, from the thing. Right. What are you about? Bro, you took I half. The this is what a properly treated truck would look like. But Gage is not afraid to do a full send. He actually went to full, full send university with Brian. Gage, are we doing any anything exciting for your last day today? Yeah, we finally left all of us. Oh, I like that. A little fun fact on how uh, Gage has ended up underneath his truck here. Uh, he was about, what, 60 miles in the Kentucky wilderness? Not Kentucky, Maine. 
Maine, in the Maine wilderness by himself, and uh, he bent the shit out of his front end. <laughs> he had one of them, one of them down east honeys on top of the hood. <laughs> and potato eating. Don't be mad, you're just jealous, dude. <laughs> Oh, I have another tree under here too. Oh, oh, oh. oh I can see why that that did. I mean, yeah. You can see. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in video, but his his uh, reasoning for this is all the Tinder girls sit up there with him. Dude, that, there's one butt cheek. There's another butt cheek. <laughs> Those are nut imprints. What are you talking about? <laughs> Somebody's like on their tea bag and like Bulls. this, and they're lifting the nuts up and just drop them. <laughs> Sponsored by Red Bull. Red Bull sponsor, we send it. We do. Sponsored unofficially by Angela for quite some time now. <laughs> Shout out to Angela. You always watch the uh, Instagram videos. We buy stuff, they give it to us. Yeah. By sponsorship, I mean we uh, buy their I'll stuff. Bet. All right, guys, so I'm actually in my truck now. The old 2015 pick em up. And we got the Tacoma behind us. Our friggin' tire machine broke, but maybe it's a blessing in disguise. We can, uh, get the newer more updated machine so it's not running freaking windows xp <laughs> if anyone has used a computer in the past 10 years they know windows xp is junk i'm just gonna go drop it off at sullivan tire literally right down the road from us and then that way customer can have his vehicle back and then uh, we gotta call the hunter dealer and see if we can finagle a deal get the boys the new unit in the shop all right guys just got back from sullivan tire um and the alignment is all done it drives super nice confirms that i'm definitely getting the ridge grapplers for my truck before the winter but uh let's check this thing out came out pretty sick if I do say so myself. I am definitely a fan of the Tacomas. They're a nice little compact unit. We got the Total Chaos control arms with the Toy Tech lift, as you guys know from the beginning of the video. But I think it looks really good. Hopefully the customer is satisfied with it. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Larkin Motors TV. As always, like the video, subscribe, and thanks for tuning in. Peace.